everyone welcome to another video this video was asked so many times for me to make it i know you guys have been waiting it so finally here it is so chaliye shuru karte hai well that's not my line let's roll the intro When you travel to United States or any international flights, you will generally have four bags: two big bags, which is suitcases, uh, which will allow you 23 kilograms or 50 pounds, so total will be 100 pounds or 46 kilograms. And then they will also allow you two carry-on bags. One will be cabin bag, which you can put it in the cabin, and then one will be your backpack, which also they will allow you. They usually don't ma measure that, but it is on an average 7 kilograms 15 pounds you should check with your flight ticket and flight uh, carrier or whichever flight you are flying through emirates is best in this case but some flights allow three bags some flights only allow one bag so you should definitely check with whatever flight you are going through okay so we're going to start with backpack because backpack is the most important luggage for you it's going to carry the most important things and without that things you will not be able to enter united states so that's why i want to talk about backpack first usually backpack is something you will always have it on your shoulder and you know you will have your eye on it because it's it's there with you other bags are not with you and especially the roller bags are you know you just don't know what can happen on airports if especially if you have longer layovers so that's why backpacks are most secure so put your important stuff in the backpack all right talking about the important stuff the first thing you want to put in your backpack is your documents there's no question it's very obvious all the documents which you carry for your visa interview you should have it in the document folder it should like look like uh, wait something like this i mean it doesn't has to be exactly same but basically you can put all your documents uh, in this thing and it can just stay in your backpack and it will have everything you need for entering to united states it also includes your passport and i20 and flight tickets you will generally have that in your hand when you are entering into the flight but then you can put it in your folder and then put it in your backpack so that way it's all safe and secure i will recommend you to carry or not carry to make a copy of your entire document set into five or six copies put couple copies at your home and then put all the one one copy in each of your bag you are carrying just for safety and backup purposes so the next thing you want to put it in your backpack is your laptop I'm not saying that to buy a laptop and put it in your backpack I'm saying if you already have a laptop then you should put it in your backpack if you don't have don't buy it I already made a separate video of things not to buy you should watch that if you haven't already but buy laptops from here buy any kind of electronic device from united states one it's going to be supported with all the chargers and everything and two in november there is like a big black friday and a cyber monday sale which have lots and lots of uh, deals on your electronics items so don't buy anything i would recommend you to come here and buy it from here what kind of laptop and what kind of phone and all of that i will answer in a separate video not in this one but if you have a laptop put it in the backpack if you don't don't buy it come here and buy it from here same with the phone if you have a phone bring that phone probably will work with all kind of uh, sim cards over here you don't have to worry about it uh, I, unless it's like super old phone or super old technology phone then yeah you might want to check online but usually all the phones will work over here and don't go and buy any new phone if you i would recommend you to come here and buy it there will be a lot of sales uh, going on there will be deals especially t mobile and at&t t mobile is one i know for sure right now they have samsung s10 the new phone they have they are giving out for free because you are going to buy a new line with them so there are deals like that so i would recommend you to not buy any phone any kind of electronics device just don't buy it buy it from india i mean usa all right so folder is done laptop is done your phone and charger everything in the backpack you will still have some space left i would recommend you to put some food items in it when i say food items i mean snacks parlegi you know some something which you can eat uh, even your chips or some fruits or dry fruits or nuts something like that just because you are going to have longer flights plus you will have long layovers some of you might have short layovers some of you might have two layovers three layovers and also when you land you will probably will have 
four to five hours of immigration, maybe two to, two to three hours of immigration, plus then from up getting out of your airport to going to the your apartment or wherever you're going. So it's gonna take some time. So having some food with you will be helpful. So you can just eat it. Good juice, you know, teplas, khakras, all those food. I carried it by myself, so I was very proud of carrying it and I was sharing it with all my people who were coming with me. But just carry some kind of food and snacks with you. Okay, so backpack is done. Now you have three more bags and we will divide the category of things you need to bring into four. One is clothing, obviously. And then two is personal care items and miscellaneous items. And then three will be kitchen utensils and four will be more like uh, grocery and food items which you should bring. Let's start with the clothing. Now clothing, obviously we'll start with the formal clothes because they are very less and you need to bring them. So we'll talk about formal clothes first. Formal clothes. Why formal clothes? Because you will be attending career fairs, events, company talks, and you know many occasions which you will need to wear some nice clothes. So you should wear them. Two, if you are in New York, first of all, I'm sorry that you are in New York. No, I'm just kidding. New York people, East Coast people are more corporate enterprise style. So you will probably wear a lot of like formal clothes. You will also see some people wearing like blazers and shoe suits, uh, just walking around like that. In California, you will see people wearing Superman shirts and shorts and sleepers, walking like that. So that's why I recommend California to most of the people. <laughs> Let's start with the suit. So you have to carry one suit, definitely, because you will wear them in many occasions. Now, if you carry shoes, you suit, you have to carry some shirts, formal shirts. So I would recommend four or five formal shirts. Now, if you are into wearing formal clothes a lot, then carry more accordingly. But four to five is more than enough. Again, with formal shirts, you need formal pants. So three formal pants is more than enough. You will not need more than that. If you have shirt pants, then you definitely need ties because ties are looking fancy, sharp. So unless you're into bows, so but regardless, buy some ties. Four or five ties will be nice. Uh, ideal match would be black co black suit, white shirt, black pant, and a colorful tie. That's just thing. You know, it'll go in all the occasions you have, but carry different varieties just in case if you have back-to-back -back events. Other thing will be belts because belts are very important. So you need belts for formal clothes and your casual clothes, so carry them separately. Two with more than enough, you don't need more. If you buy like shorts from here, it already it also comes with belts, so you don't need a lot of belt. I would recommend just two, that's more than enough. Let's talk about shoes. Uh, you need four, at least uh, one formal shoes one sport shoes which you will wear it in gym, gym most of the time then one casual shoes which you can wear it as like a nice locations or nice events and outside when you go like fancy places and or you can just wear it casually in the college four you need sandals because it will be raining so it will be good to have some kind of sandal and then I highly recommend you to buy a couple sleepers because sleepers are super expensive in the United States for some reason and also not like a lot of variety. So especially for the people who have long like bigger feet, uh, I have like big feet, 11 number or 12 number. So carry, carry a couple of sleepers. Highly recommended. Now, obviously when you have shoes, you need socks, right? So my recommendation is to carry 15 socks, uh, 15 pair of socks. You can go 10 to 15, but 15 is good. Okay, that was formal clothes. Now let's talk about casual clothes. And before I talk about casual, you should understand that when you come to United States, you're not gonna do laundry every single day. One, because you most likely won't have laundry machine, washing machine in your apartment. Some apartments have, some don't, and if you don't, then you have to go somewhere in your society and you know put some quarters, coins in it, and it'll be like a dollar for one load, and then you have to dry it. So there's two different machines. So all this you will learn when you go there, but my point is that you will not do the laundry every night or every morning like we do it in India. You will probably do it like on weekends once a week or maybe twice a week. So that's why my recommendation on clothes is a little higher in limits because you probably will not do laundry for a long time. Okay, now that you know that, let's talk about jeans. So you should carry three jeans, not more than that. That should be more than enough. Uh, also, you will come here and buy some clothes over here. So I recommend three jeans. 
three to four, uh, three fourths or shorts, whichever you're comfortable with. Uh, and if you don't wear shorts at all, then that's fine. And carry more jeans, depending on your choice. I would definitely recommend 10 to 12 t-shirts, uh, just because, like I said, it's you're not gonna do laundry for a very long time, so carry 10 to 12. But again, don't carry more than 15 because you will come here and you will go to a lot of events. And most of the events you will get free t-shirts also you will buy your college t-shirts and all of that so you'll end up getting a lot of t-shirts so just don't more not more than 15 i think 15 is good number night dress if you're into wearing night dress i wear my pajamas and night dress so definitely carry some if you are into that now also something i want to talk about is uh, handkerchief i know in india we are used to carrying a handkerchief I bought that five when I came here, but I never used one because there's just no concept of using handkerchief. Just, I don't know why, but just you, people don't use that over here in the United States. But if you want to carry two or three, that's more than enough. You will not need it because everywhere you go, you will have a like a paper towel to use it on like tissue paper. So you can just use that anywhere you go, you will get that. So. That's why people don't use handkerchief when they use paper. Okay, talking about towels, you definitely need two or three towels. Uh, don't buy more because it will take up a lot of space in, in volume, it's you know bigger in volume. So I would recommend two towels, maybe three, but not more than that. Uh, because you get towels over here and it's too, it's not super expensive. So you should just buy it from here if you really want it more than three, but three is more than enough. Also something I forgot in the beginning of the video, all these things which I'm talking about, all this list will be in the description below. So you can totally skip the video, but you will miss my beautiful voice and commentary and my Josh, which is how's the Josh? Hi, sir. Uh, you will miss all of that, but if you want to skip it, you can totally skip it and just go to the description and get the list which you want. Caps, if you are into caps, carry maybe one or two. Again, not more than that because over here, if you go to multiple events, you will get caps also and sunglasses. Again, same thing. If you go to multiple events, you will get free sunglasses everywhere. It's like thing in United States to just give things for free. So make use of it. Oh, I forgot about traditional clothes because most likely you will celebrate Diwali, Navratri and all of this, you know, Indian festival. So definitely carry some kurtas and sherwanis and things for all those occasions. And that also includes carrying mojiri for shoes. Girls, please carry traditional outfits if you are into wearing those. If you don't, then that's fine. Okay, let's talk about personal care items and miscellaneous items. So first thing, shaving kit. If you're in full clean shave thing, then bring your shaving kit. If you are into just trimming, then bring your trimmer. And if you don't have one, don't go and buy it because over here, again, it's an electronic item. I would recommend you to come and buy it from here instead of buying it from India. Toothbrush and toothpaste. Uh, don't bring a lot of toothpaste. Just one toothpaste is fine because toothpaste are not so expensive. So come here and buy it. Toothbrush. Yeah, you can buy three, four, five, whatever, how many ever you want to. Not more than five because again, it's not so expensive over here. Uh, comb, I would recommend you to get some combs over here uh, from India, the, especially the round ones for the boys uh, and girls too if you want carry some. They are expensive so it might be better to get it from India. Hair oil is something which is also very expensive. There's no concept of uh, coconut oil over here. Uh, I mean there is but not a lot of people like how we have that branded coconut oil and almond oil to put it for hair they don't have that over here and it's very expensive if they do so bring that if you are into putting hair oil and getting chumpy so bring that the other thing is uh, sewing kit like i brought that uh, like you know sui dhaga I, I never used it because i don't know how but just and also i wear t-shirts i never wear formal shirts and whenever i wore i have not broken a button on it you can bring it, it's expensive over here. Learn how to do the sewing and that's, I mean, it's just mini sewing kit will be fine. Now let's talk about some miscellaneous items. One which includes glasses, specs. If you are wearing specs, I will highly recommend you to bring five or six pairs because it's very expensive over here. To, uh, the frames are expensive, glasses are expensive and you also have to pay cost to make and labor charges and all of that. So I highly recommend to bring five or six pairs. Contact lenses also bring some more. Bring your eye prescription as well so that if you happen to lose all five of them then you can still get another 
glasses over here or specs over here so high recommend and high recommendation on that passport size photos now that's like you will not believe i just you know click two of my photos for my green card procedure and it's like super expensive for two photos i had to pay 15 dollars it's like super ex expensive so get two by two that's the size they use it over here so two by two get like 50 photos from india because you it's very expensive over here the other most important thing is going to be an adapter if you bring a lot of indian electronic device then yes you will need that adapter it's available in almost all the stores in india it's probably 60 80 rupees uh, very inexpensive in india but very expensive in america so bringing that i'll put some pictures right here so you can bring those also if you have a hard disk or external pen drives or something like that bring them don't go and buy it you don't need it most likely you will use internet everywhere else because internet is available everywhere else it's high speed you most likely won't need it but if you have some bring them use it but don't buy it because again electronics is cheaper in america girls i'm really sorry that i'm not giving you a direct advice on what to bring for clothes and personal items because i don't know what are those you probably know all of those so bring accordingly and you know my wife has way more clothes than i have so you probably want to bring more clothes but also you should not bring a lot of clothes because you will buy it from here and like i said there will be a sale so you probably want to shop from here so bring accordingly based on what I suggested to guys. And personal item, you obviously know what to bring for yourself. I don't recommend you to bring like straighteners and air, hair dryers and all of that. I would recommend you to come and buy it over here. If you have already, then, then that's fine. Then bring it with you. But I don't want you to like go specially and shop for it and then bring it. Because again, the, you will have to use an adapter anywhere you go. Instead, just come here and spend money over here and get a good quality and it'll last forever. So better to buy it from here. Okay, so let's talk about utensils. Now, some things I will highly recommend and some things I'm not a big fan of bringing it in the United States. So we'll start with the things which are like, I'm not super big fan. Plates, bowls, spoons, forks, glasses see all of these are available in sets in america and not so expensive and especially if you and your roommates have good understanding then you can literally buy it for two dollars or three dollars you will you know four or five roommates together it's a pretty good deal i don't recommend you to buy a lot of them but i understand your parents will force you i understand your mom and dad is gonna freak out as soon as i say that yeah, bring maybe two of each. That's about it. Don't, you don't need more again because you will want to buy a set from here and not from India. So just, you know, my recommendation is to just come here and buy it. Also, it will take up space and, you know, weight and all of that. So just come here and buy it. Pressure cooker is highly, highly recommended to bring in United States because one, it's super expensive. Two, you don't get it easily available and you buy it from Amazon, which is imported by India and you will have to pay all, all this money. You probably will pay 200, 300 dollars. So that's a lot of money. So better buy it from India. I have five liter and seven liter and three liter, all three of them because I went multiple times and I got all of them. I never use three three liter one because it's too tiny. I cannot cook a lot of things in it. Uh, a lot of times I use seven liter so I can put like dal and rice together. But if you want, you can bring five liter. If it doesn't fit, seven liter doesn't fit, then bring five liter. That's like a very good size and you can cook a lot of big batches. Also, if you bring pressure cooker, then definitely bring some additional rings and whistles because you move. If you move different apartments and if you lose one, so at least you have an extra spare so you can use it. Now let's talk about pans because I know pans are the other discussion like you should you bring pans or not. I don't recommend again they are all available cheaper over here if you again share it with four or five roommates even three roommates two roommates it will still be cheaper than buying it and bringing it from india and using all your weight but if you want to bring one flat pan where you can cook your rotis and chapatis obviously if you bring that and if you're into making chapatis and rotis bring your balen uh, balen and then you also bring the patla we call it patla whatever the balan roti you make it on i don't usually make rotis so i'm 
i don't use it but if you are into that you should definitely bring it also you get like a frozen rotis over here so you can just use that and just microwave it or just put it on your pan and then you know flip it around and it will be ready in like few seconds bring a kadai which when which you can make chai and also bring another big kadai which you can make uh, your normal vegetables and you know things like that i think that's about it for pans and utensils to make food because again like i said you should come here and buy those things don't buy it from india and don't bring it from india those are more than enough now there are a few utensils which i highly recommend you to bring and let me show you those one is this thing this guy you know if you're a chai drinker you definitely need this um, not a lot it's expensive over here and there are not a lot of things like this available to uh, if you're into frying stuff uh, bring this also with you pav bhaji you, you pav bhaji mumbai if you're from mumbai you have to eat pav bhaji so definitely bring pav bhaji smasher uh, bring this thing guy you don't get this uh, very often so definitely bring this uh, pakkad uh, whatever you call sansi is what we call in gujarati and then chipyo is what <laughs> we call in gujarati but tong they call it tong over here for roti to flip it so bring these things also important i don't have it right now with me but uh, pillar uh, vegetable pillar or potato pillar you know that pillar thing a knife you get bring that you can additionally bring couple knives with you that will be helpful but i think that's about it don't bring additional things all of the other things you will be able to get it from here maybe for serving spoons you might want to bring like some chamchas big big ones and some round ones so you can pour it but that's about it i don't think anything else you need it for utensils part i think that's pretty good solid now some people do say that to bring uh, tupperwares but they are very cheap over here and you probably can get like a full you know 10 sets of 10 tupperwares like a meal prep type um, easily available over here so i recommend you to buy that instead of buying bringing big big tupperwares from india but again if your mom is forcing you bring three or four round shaped tupperware so you can put stuff in it okay let's talk about food because food is very important now i highly recommend you to bring some ready to eat food i am not a big fan of it but the first week or the first two weeks you will probably be using it a lot and you will get used to it you will start cooking and all of that so at that time you probably want to bring some ready to eat like upmas and pohas and even pav bhaji mtr like all these packs you come just bring them so it's easy for you to use it and quickly cook it while you are working on all of your you know res other things and getting settled in united states now garam masala is my favorite you should definitely bring if you your mom makes homemade garam masala my mom does so i definitely brought some uh, how much i don't know your mom is expert in this field so i got i think half kg but again that's that would that lasted me a year so depending on how much you're planning to cook and all of that so half kg is more than enough also bring red chili powder uh, turmeric dhania powder and uh, what's the fourth one hing uh, you should bring that and then along with that you should bring mustard seeds and jeera because those are also something you will not get over here i mean you will get all of this in indian store so i don't recommend you to bring a lot you should bring like 250 grams that should be more than enough but i still understand your mom will be like that is so less and you should carry more not more than 1 kg each i think that's more than enough and again there are some airports which will not let you in with all those things so there's no point you used all of that and then they didn't even let you in with all those spices so my recommendation is to just carry a little bit so even if they ask you to throw it you don't feel bad don't bring any sugar salt um, all of those are available for initial days you can bring the small small packs of sugar and salt same with the you know coffee or tea ready made teas and coffees bring small small packs that's more than enough uh, shampoo is also same like if you want to for initial days bring the small small packs uh, just buy it everything from here those are the things you easily get over here so don't recommend that at all to bring it from india now all those ready made uh, masalas from bacha or mdh you get for chole bhature pav bhaji and 
paneer tikka masala and all of those masalas you can bring one one box of each also most likely you will find all of that in your in restaurant indian store available in your town so you won't have to use it so depending on your college i would recommend one box is more than enough and then if you need more definitely you can go and buy it also chai uh, tea spice if you are using tea spice you should bring that uh, another things are like you know cardamom cinnamon cinnamon sticks uh, bay leaves uh, loving cloves all those stuff which your mom probably knows so you know just tell her you want all the spices and make a one dabba and then just bring that dabba i think that should be more than enough you don't need a lot of stuff you probably get all of this in america just for initial one month two months you need all, all those things once you got settled then you can just buy it from here i think that's about it for all the things i know i made a super long video but i really wanted you to go through the list and explain the things how and why to bring those things again the list is uh, i might have missed something from the list so go and check the list uh, below in the description box below and i hope you enjoyed this one i will see you on saturday for ask you dj episode until then keep smiling and keep hustling oh, oh.